Coco F5, Evolution X, and version 14, 9.2 is the version here. Latest build guys for Poco F5 of the Redmi Note 12 Turbo. 5th July 2024 is the security patch. Kernel user is 5.101210. ZKA kernel has been used. This is typical home screen. This is app runner and this is the quick settings toggle. So you guys can see on the screen and this edit section you also get these options. The interface is really smooth responsive. You can see the animations too here. And you also get this basic call recording. Once you enable that, you'll get options to choose them. Output direct and even the output format, you can select that out. Now, if you make the call from here, it will be directly recorded once you enabled from here in the basic call recording. Also, you get this camera application, which is a hyperos built camera, not a Leica integrated. In the video mode, you get 4K 30 and other options you can see here. This is the other options you get. It's a very simple camera, not a hyperos built camera. If you want to use any GCAM port, definitely you can use. In my channel, there are two to three videos how to install the gcams in poco f you can definitely check out them flashing method everything is given in the description the whatsapp group for this particular device is also given in the description do check out the description i'll show some results from this particular round starting with android benchmark as you can see 10 lakhs 54,508 is the score what i got and i am using 10.2.9 and two version and temperature raise was around 5.2 degrees Celsius and 5 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing on this POCO F5 and this is the Geekbench 6.3.0 version app I am using all one is a single score, 4180 is a multi score again under some 14 lengths 5.10.210 ZKI kernel has been used this is the read drive sorry it's basic integrated and CTS profile match getting passed and device is certified Hence, using payment applications is not at all a problem unless until you make it root and give access to everything for a simple flashing ROM and using it is not at all a problem by seeing this you can say it out and again is there 10 Dolby Vision support is there in this ROM and level 1 certification is also done here and this is regarding the battery life, battery life is ok I can say it's not good or great definitely it's on higher side I can say it's very good I can say and again this is the real display test with graph and numericals and this is with Wi-Fi connection I have 200 Mbps ATL fiber plan and this is Geo I'm using 2.9 plan 5G still I'm getting 3 Mbps and around 130pm it is 32% charging rapidly you can see 151 it is 77% and if you guys can guess which charger I used to charge this smartphone around 1 30 to 151 let me know in the comment section i will be answering those who ask the question for them i will answer that let me know in the comment section again these are the results what i got and app opening and interface everything is very cool and responsive yes i haven't faced any issues with the rom as you can see again it's very smooth and responsive i can say and they are providing some updates to this rom that's also a good thing dolby atmos is also pre-installed here Again, for other options like in the settings, evolver settings and all, you can check out my previous video, guys. You guys can see nothing has been improved here apart from the smoothness and all. When we can get under 15 update is what I would, everyone are waiting. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Again, if you are waiting for under 15 and all, let me know in the comment section. You will be getting first in my channel regarding this Poco F5. Any custom ROM available with under 15. I will be making that video guys subscribe to my channel and also like it we will see the BGM in this particular round how it handles and good thing is you will get that high FPS count how to enable that I have shown in the previous video guys just check that out and see the game player again guys this is the new version of M3.3 BGMI the game is a lot more better now compared to the previous version Again, it all depends upon game optimization also and your processing speed and internet connectivity, the ping, everything matters guys and your uh, other controls and gyroscope enabling, disabling and also the skill what you have regarding the strategy and how to attack the enemies and all, it depends upon you also. These things factors a lot regarding the best gameplay. Rather than just being a gaming ROM, it will not give you the hundred percent results. Altogether, it should give the best result that I can say easily. And this optimizes very well, guys. 3.3. I'm really liking it.
as of now, I'm saying again in the future, if Vijay might give us any update and all, I don't know about that. As of now, it's very good, I can say here. The smoothness in the way is also around and even in the gaming experience, it is fine, I can say. As you can see, even in the counter attacks, I haven't faced any FPS lag or any status or anything like that. I'll come back here. That's the gaming experience, guys. Again, regarding the fingerprint unlock, it's very smooth and responsive. You guys can see here. And this is the face unlock speed. It's also fast and responsive, as you can see. Haven't faced any issues with this from. Again, auto brightness sensor is kind of it's like available or not. You guys can check out the notes again as you can see. It's working fine for me. Again, if you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM, you can comment down in the comment section, guys. I also set to say which charger I use to charge this smartphone. Let me know in the comment section. I mean, how many wattage, I mean, how much wattage charger I use. Let me know in the comment section, guys. We'll meet you with another interesting video, guys. Until that, keep smelling. Bye bye for now. This is Sampath signing off.